Interest in President Kennedy's proposed Peace Corps continues to rise among American youth. Here are the forerunners of the Peace Corps. American exchange students, now overseas in backward and depressed areas of the world, giving of their strength, skills, and education in tasks similar to the missions that will be assigned to Peace Corps members. The popular response to the Peace Corps proposal, with thousands of inquiries pouring in before application forms were even ready, is a measure of the younger generation's readiness to accept a bold challenge to positive action. Now, following up his initial announcement, President Kennedy appears before newsreel cameras in the White House to outline the program and the prospects of the Global Peace Corps. Peace Corps is really the idea of the American people. When I talked last fall about the idea of young American men and women going abroad to serve shoulder to shoulder with the citizens of newly emerging countries. A tremendous response went up from the schools and colleges of the United States. In the last few months, more applications for the Peace Corps have come to us than have come for positions in all the rest of the United States government put together. What is remarkable is that there is no salary for the members of the Peace Corps. They will go abroad and live on the same standard as people of other countries. But they will work with them two or three years, devoting part of their lives to peace and to strengthening the ties that bind men together all over the globe. Members of the Peace Corps will work in three different areas. First, as teachers. Secondly, as agriculturalists, in order to improve agricultural production in the countries to which they're accredited. And third, they will work on health. For example, I would like to see a major worldwide effort carried on to stamp out malaria. They will be available for this work. We will send abroad only those volunteers who are capable and well-trained and who will be welcomed by other countries. Our Peace Corps, I want to emphasize, is not designed as a weapon of propaganda is not designed as a tool in the Cold War. It is a genuine effort by the people of the United States, particularly those who are young, to play their part in working for peace, in improving the lives of all mankind. It comes, I think, from a deep historic and revolutionary experience that we have had. The people of this country are anxious to see a world in peace. Young people in this country are anxious to hold out their hand to people in other worlds. They will learn as much as they will teach. And I hope that it will be possible for them to associate with similar programs in other countries, with a program which might be developed under the leadership of the United Nations. This is an experiment. I hope it will be successful. I hope that from it will come renewed understanding by people all over the world of a common desire for peace. I hope out of it will come a better life for all mankind. <laughs>